Welcome back to Oxford, Mississippi. Hotty toddy, and it's hot here. So hot, the trees are fighting over the dogs. <laughs> bow wow, bow bow wow. All right, it wasn't funny. But uh, last week, I put out a video, and uh, it was great news to me and a lot of gumballers, but it cost me subscribers. <laughs> they don't like good news, apparently, and... Uh, Oh, well, it's a way of purging the channel. <laughs> but there is a machine I don't want y'all to get stuck with. I had a subscriber send me a link, and I'll share it with you here. Lucky Mint Vending, America's premium wrapped candy. Ownership opportunity. Income generating Lucky Mint Peppermint Patty routes. Sale is on now. Free machines with great locations. Free products and free shipping with every qualified purchase. That means you gotta spend some moolah to, get, to qualify for free. <laughs> and I've been watching this company for the past two years because when I first got into bulk vending, I was looking for all the options out there, the most profitable and all that good stuff. And uh, I keep seeing this question being asked a lot on social media if this is worth getting into. And the answer is no, run. There are poor souls out there all over the country that have lost thousands of dollars to this. Now, I love the peppermint patty like anyone else, but uh, when I buy them, it's at the store. I'm not going to buy them out of a vending machine, especially in this heat, because you know they're going to be mushy. They're... My luck with any loose candy in this town, they are very slow selling, and I wouldn't even sell any M&Ms during the summertime here in Oxford. But anyway, I see so much evidence, and I'm going to give you a couple of examples of people that lost their ass getting into these vending machines. Uh, here on my local Facebook, here's eight of these machines available in Columbia or Columbus, Tennessee, for 18 weeks. They've even dropped the price from $1,500 to $900. They're stuck with them. And I'm sure when I go back next week and look or every day after, they're still gonna be a, they'll still be on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, that's ridiculous. This person either bought into the company back when they had 25 cent mechs and are stuck with them, or they went to a mini auction, you know, mini storage auction and got them and they're stuck with them. They're not going to invest in the mints in this weather. Think about it. By the time the shipment gets to you, they're going to be really mushy in the box ever before you put them in your machines and make them available to your customers. Now here's another poor soul on eBay. Mint Patties bulk vending candy machines, mints included. You got the inventory. <laughs> and he's buying it now for $199.20. I don't know what the shipping would be. And you can make an offer, but that's a lot of money for these machines. So that apparently that's what he's got into them. And the seller on eBay, he's asking $199.20 to buy it now. It was $249 per machine. He's stuck with them. And these machines have the 50 cent mix. So he's a recent purchase from the company there. And how do you know he's stuck with him? Read his description. I have six more of these machines. Message me for a package deal for all six. I pay $2,990 for all seven, plus the locations, but the locations were bad. So, your qualifying purchase is gonna include bad locations on top of that. The reason I didn't think twice about this a couple of years ago when I first found this company was they've never been to Oxford, Mississippi, especially during the lockdown. And I can't say the P word because then I'd be become a threat to your democracy on YouTube. <laughs> but to this day, I've never hired a locator service. It's, you just don't know what you're going to get for what you're paying for. So what are y'all's thoughts about these machines? Do you agree with me? People are stuck with them. They've lost all of their investment. I'm sure they've got plenty of peppermint patties to eat and pass out to their friends. Uh, have any of y'all thought about getting into these or have any of y'all already invested in these and are stuck? 
All right, thanks for watching another video. I'm back out reading the mail. Bye-bye.